Hey everyone, Jason Odell here. Uh, luminescentphoto.com is my website. And this morning, I uh, got a notification that Adobe has released a bunch of major updates for Photoshop Lightroom. And so, of course, I ran the update as I always do. And uh, the newest feature in Photoshop that I found intriguing is the idea of automatic distraction removal. What does that mean? It means it automates the remove tool to get rid of power lines and cables and auto selects people for removal. So I wanted to try that out because you can do this manually, but it's kind of a pain. So let's go over to my Photoshop where I've got an image that I brought up with obvious power lines in it. Okay, so here's a photo that I took out in Eastern Colorado and um, brought it into Photoshop. So what I'm gonna do first as best practice is always duplicate your your uh, image layer so that whatever you're working on with retouching is reversible or maskable. You, know, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. So I'm just gonna right click on the background layer and just choose duplicate layer and click OK. All right, so here's my background copy. Now what I want to do uh, to invoke this tool is go over to the left hand side where I've got my tools. Yours might be different, but I've got all my tools on the left. And over here where I have the um, retouching tools, it's currently selected as the spot healing brush. So what I need to do is change this to the remove tool. So I'll just click over here, click and hold, choose the remove tool. Okay, and now I'm in this remove tool with this little uh, you know, stars on there and you, you see the brush. Normally you'd go in there and you just brush out these power lines and that's kind of a pain. So I'm going to try this new feature. So if you notice up in the toolbar at the top of my screen, there's a little button here that says find distractions. How cool is that? So one click removal and we're gonna click wires and cables and just see what happens. Now this is going to use, um, the, I've selected it to potentially use AI generative fill. So that's gonna require some computer horsepower. You can see it takes a little while to do this. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Boom, they're gone, just like that. Well, that's pretty amazing. Um, no complaints from me, uh, just wiped them right out. I mean, they're, they are gone. Um, and to just compare that, I can hide my layer and there they were, here they are gone. And is it perfect? Eh, it's close enough for me, so I'm pretty happy with that. But this is a pretty easy shot, so I wanted to give it a more challenging shot. So here's here's one which I took um, a couple weeks ago up in the high country. It's a mining town, and there's all these ridiculous power lines running through here. So what I want to do is um, I don't want to remove the cables on this uh, mine. Uh, that would be bad, but I do want to remove uh, the power lines. So what I'm going to do is real easy. I'm going to just make uh, a selection with my lasso tool and I'm just going to select the areas where the power lines are and hold down shift to make another selection to add to that. Okay, so here's the two regions now that I've selected for the removal. I'm going to do the same thing. Go back to the remove tool click find distractions, wires and cables, and it's gonna run its routine. And just like that, they're gone. Now this took a little longer because it was a more complex scene, um, but if we compare it, zoom in a little bit here. There was before, here's the after. It does a remarkable job of removing these power lines. Now I could continue to clean things up if I wanted to get rid of some more of these power lines over here. I could certainly do that. But for right now, that's really, really good. So by using a, a lasso tool to make a selection, I'm restricting where the um, wire and cable, the, the remains, uh, gets applied, where the generative fill gets applied. I can't speak this morning. Now what about people? People are always a problem too. Now you can go in here and just select the people with the remove tool. But instead, let's go ahead and try the automated selection. So I'm going to click the Find Distractions button again, click People, and it just finds them. Now, like I said, I could have painted that in. In this particular case, this is editable. So if I, for some reason, wanted to keep certain people in the frame, uh, I could paint that out, I could erase that, or add additional objects uh, to be removed. But this auto-selected the people, 
And uh, when you're good, good with that, you just click check or hit return. Boom, it will, it will process. And hopefully we get a good result. That's pretty great. Let's look at this, zoom in here. It's pretty amazing what it just did. So it took out those people. And uh, if you've ever been in a place like this at the Rock of Cashel in, in Ireland where it's overrun with, with tourists and you're trying to take photos, it can be really hard to, to get pictures that don't have people in them. All right, last one. I want to show this image. So see what the auto select people does. So my subject is actually my friend here. And I want to get rid of the people in the background. So it finds them. Now notice it did not find this guy back here. So all I need to do is just paint it, paint in over it, over him to get rid of that other person and then hit the, the checkbox. And uh, to spare us the time, I've already got the result ready to go. Here's what it looks like. Just took them right out. So here's our before and there is our after. Pretty darn amazing that it didn't select my subject, this person in the foreground. So that is what I think is very cool with this new release of Photoshop. Obviously, there's lots of other features in there. But for me, this really speeds up my editing workflow if I need to remove unwanted people or unwanted power lines. Uh, it just really makes things go faster. So until next time, check out my website, luminescentphoto.com. I'm Jason O'Dell, and have a good one.